Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have got news today of the first Hero Upgrade Pack SBC potentially coming to FC25 soon. This is a leak that is big because it is about that time of year, to be honest, that we start to get an SBC like this. But how is it going to impact the game as it is right now? Are we going to see fodder prices going up? Do we need to invest? How is it going to impact hero prices? Are those going to be going down? And what is it going to do to the rest of the market? We're going to cover that all today and look forward to another Another upgrade pack SBC potentially coming today because that's been the trend as of recent times. Of course, guys, we're going to talk the market too. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's take a look at yesterday's content first as we get into things because we had a new cup that was dropped yesterday and it's actually decently easy to get done. Now, maybe I had a little bit of fortune with a lot of golden goal. I was playing golden goal myself and that makes this one nation glory um, cup very very easy it's actually living up to the name you have to play with a single nation squad inside of the live ultimate team friendly one nation glory it's max 89 rated players two loans and everybody in the starting 11 and the bench has to be of the same nation guys these packs are are actually worth doing. I think, in, in my opinion, the Evo Arena has nothing compared to this One Nation Glory. The packs are way better from this one, and I packed an actual banger that goes straight into my team from these rewards yesterday. It literally took me just over an hour to get these games in with the Golden Goal being so prevalent and the way that people are playing this game. So make sure you check out the second channel if you want to see that pack pull from yesterday. But this is actually impacting the market a ton because a lot of people especially since it's this early on in the game i didn't have a full squad of players from one nation that was at least halfway competitive look at the market in terms of these cheaper players from the top nations musa diaby He's been down a lot in price after he was like 10,000 coins in the first week as a starter card, right? He was 4,000 coins yesterday, spiked all the way to 6.8K. The market flew even further yesterday as there were so many cards from Brazil, from France, from Spain moving up in price. Some of them going from almost discard up to a couple thousand coins, like 1300 up to 2K for Olga Carmona as people are buying these cards and putting them into these simple teams that they need all players from one nation for bruno gamerich from 1.8k up uh, sorry jolinton from 1.8k to 2.8k he's rising up a bunch even some like higher tier players like selma basha and karchawi both went up a lot yesterday from 11,000 coins up to 20k and now she's back down just a little bit these cards check your club honestly you might have a couple of cards like gold asm or maybe in cuckoos up a bit more um, Ona Batia's 85 rated cards up a little bit. Geese, an 81 rated Brazilian from the Women's Super League is up. There's maybe some cards selling from your club right now from some of those top nations because of this. This right here, this live ultimate team friendly. Honestly, the best friendly mode that we have had yet. And the, the packs, again, guys, are a lot better. A lot of them are 82 plus, 83 plus. There's the 84 plus in there too. Worth doing 100% in my opinion. Now let's go to SBCs and take a look at our player SBC that we had yesterday. We finally had the Ajibade player of the month and it's a very nice card. 93 pace, 86 dribbling, 4 star, 4 star, 5 foot 6, can play on the right side or the left side in both the mid and the wing positions. Of course, the pace is amazing. Dribbling is solid. Shooting is good. 96 jumping is pretty crazy, to be completely honest. She has quick step, rapid, and relentless. Very good for the sprint boost. Honestly, guys, this card for me looks like a super sub and a cheap super sub at that. She's coming in at one squad, an 85-rated squad, which is approximately now 39,000 coins. Pretty easy and cheap to do. She's out, of course, for 27 days, as most player of the months are for a pretty long time. So maybe a super sub that has instant impact into your squad right now, or maybe it's one that you just wait on and say, hey, I'll get this done when I have extra 85 fodder laying around at some point in the next month. Nice SBC. Really not else, a whole lot to say there. Nice SBC. She's going to be good in game. The only thing that I'm actually a little bit bummed by is she does not have the striker position like her gold card has. She has both right mid, right wing, left mid, left wing, but she does not have striker and she does not have the roles, of course, that are on her gold striker card as well. And I think on her gold striker, yeah, she had false nine plus, which personally in my squad would have fit in really well. But this player of the month card does not have it, but a decent upgrade plus twos and plus threes for her there and pretty cheap. Also yesterday, we had the 80 plus 
combo upgrade pack that was released as well. This was that upgrade pack that we saw added to the code, and we wondered if it was going to be coming. We weren't sure. And it is indeed one player 80 plus and the other 75 plus. So it's kind of like just think of it as a regular gold upgrade pack with one of those players going to be an 80 plus. And the difference in price between a regular gold upgrade, which is just all commons, and this one is you have to turn in six rares. So I did do a set of these yesterday. They were okay. I didn't get a walkout. But if you have some like 81s and 80s maybe in your duplicate storage that's where i'm finding right now a lot of duplicate storage of uh, my duplicate storage is taken up by those lower rated gold cards like 78 to 82 and this is a perfect place to kind of dump those off and put them in and at least give myself a chance at uh, packing something decent so i don't hate these i don't love them they're just kind of there try a couple do a few see how it works out and kind of go from there so that was yesterday's content pretty quiet day overall right player of the month the cup is nice again like i mentioned an upgrade pack sbc nothing super crazy and with that market prices as we kind of looked at on the index already have continued to rise i still had a couple of trades a couple of trades that didn't work out so well i sold this out of for like a 5k loss after tax i still have the habits that we'll be making some coins on and i still have some hollands and the martinelli so we're still doing good on the coins at the moment and i'm sure a lot of you guys did well yesterday too as you watched prices go up i mean most price graphs yesterday looked like let's pick a random gold here sophia smith pretty sure she was 230 now she's 260,000 coins uh, yeah, she was 229 Monday morning, rose all the way up to the evening on Monday to 264,000 coins, which is still right around 260 where she is. Now, a lot of player prices look like that on the mid to top tier. Saliba's almost 240k now. I think he maybe even hit 240. 239 for a quick second there. Right after the content drop, there was a nice increase on player prices. That's how the market reacted yesterday to content being pretty slim. You can see on the index, we've just been going straight up since Sunday. And that is exactly what we've been talking about and expecting. Now, I do think we are getting towards the peak of prices for this week, especially with some of the leaks we're going to talk about today. People might start to sell because of that just a little bit. And of course, as we get into Wednesday with Rivals Rewards, I don't know how big of a market drop we're going to have, guys. That's really, really tough to say. Each of the last two weeks on Wednesdays, we've had a very sizable market drop. It might not be as big this week. It also could be just as big with the content that we maybe have upcoming with the Hero SBC or with the next promo that is coming Friday. We'll have to see how that ends up. But the safe method, I think the safe timing of things for how it's going to end up being this year, similar to last year, is buy your teams on either Thursday nights and then use them on Friday, but then watch prices drop Friday and Saturday into Sunday being a lower-ish time, and then we see prices rise on Monday and Tuesday before Wednesday. So I think if you have some stuff in your team, today's probably the day where you think about maybe cashing a bit more of it out. I'll probably try to take the coins on the Havertz here in the next couple hours, the Holland as well, and just so that I have nothing in the deal, right? Just so I'll be safe, I'll be ready to go, have the coins liquid and active to be able to trade. Probably will be a little quiet of a day today on Tuesday as well in terms of the market unless we have some big news but I kind of wanted to just talk about that a little bit because the market is doing very well and if you have somebody from an out of packs team I don't think you have to sell that let me just you know add on top of this if you have one of these cards from road to the knockout team number one maybe it's a team of the week one or a team of the week two card that's like absolutely flying in price like Rafinha or Sun um, it verts is at 188. That's yeah. See, that's not there. That was an undercut, but that was low. If you have one of these cards, that's up a lot. You should be pretty safe. To be honest, I wouldn't worry about selling these. It would be more of like maybe a road to the knockouts team two card because some of these have gone up a decent amount in value and they're going to get packed more this week with rivals rewards and people have been buying them for the teams. Wow. Barcola is 520. Pretty sure he was 430 last night. So he's up a lot. Those are the cards I'd be careful with. And of course, golds, right? Golds are getting phased out of teams quicker than ever. We have another promo coming this Friday. We have more upgrade packs, more player SBCs, more evolutions that are going to be dropping. Gold cards just going to, except for the top tier, most of them though are just going to kind of fade down in price as they normally do in this time of the year. So that's kind of the market synopsis for right now. We'll definitely talk more about the market tomorrow heading into Wednesday. Now let's get to the big news Guys, because it was leaked yesterday by a couple different people. And, you know, it's it's a leak, yes, right now about this hero pack potential. But I think also it's an expectation. And that's why I'm taking this leak with a pinch of salt. This SBC could be this week, 
could be as early as tomorrow, could be on Sunday. It also could be next week, guys, because it was last year, right around this time. It was I actually looked it back. The October 15th date of 2023 is when we had the first hero upgrade pack last year. It was the Max 87 hero upgrade, and it was a cheap price of an 86 rated squad which of course fodder had gone up from that so it was 90,000 coins to do but as you can see 4,000 thumbs up on the max 87 hero upgrade the first time it was dropped last year only 1,300 down votes this was a really good value SBC like EA started the year off well last year with the first max 87 pack now foot sheriff is saying here that the guaranteed max 87 pack is added to come soon no info on if it's an SBC yet now, I have some points to make on this because I don't understand how this pack is added to come as it's already in the game. That's what something that I'm seeing through this whole leak thing for the heroes that I'm a little bit like confused about because I got rank five and foot champs. And what did I get? A base hero max 87 single player pack. Now, maybe they have to add a different pack to the code, but this pack is like already in the code. That would be the exact same one that we would get via an SBC. So I'm just just saying like this this leak to me is it really a leak or is it just we expect this SBC to come because that's what EA has done the past two years he says no info on it if it's an SBC yet we already have a hero pack that is in the store that's why I'm kind of I'm not making fun of this leak but I'm just kind of like what what is bro saying here with this leak because it's not an SBC or he's saying he doesn't know if it's an SBC but the guaranteed max 87 pack is added to come it's already in the game and we already have a hero store pack which we've talked about here so I don't think they're going to drop another one in the store unless we're going to have a repeat of FIFA 23 with the 25,000 coin hero pack drop a like on the video if you remember that one and made coins off of it I mean that was one of the craziest mistakes ever but anyways all that to say I want to talk about this today because this post is going around it's probably a leak. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. And genuinely, we should be getting close to the first hero upgrade pack SBC of the year. And now I mentioned last year's SBC was very cheap and very hype. So how do we prepare for this? What's this going to do to the game? Well, last year it was leaked ahead of time as well. And fodder prices, when the actual SBC came out, they went up, but they didn't absolutely skyrocket because they had been rising for days before that. And actually that sounds kind of similar, doesn't it? Because fodder prices, if you take a look at the graphs, let's go hourly that back to Sunday, 86 rated Benzema who's fodder now, crazy to say that, after his high ratings the past couple of years, he's 86 rated. On Sunday, he was 6,000 coins, rose up really nicely with the SBCs that we had, up to 7,000 coins. Yesterday, fodder did the exact same thing. Fodder is rising and rising. It's up 2K, 86s went from 6K to 8K where they are right now. You would think that the SBC was about to drop today on this game with how much fodder has gone up, but no, that's just been probably investors getting involved, but also just the actual demand that we have for the SBCs that we have at the moment, the Kefrem Taram with the 84 and 85 rated squad there, the Varan, the Nico Williams, the Limin Yamal, we do have a good set of SBCs that are out in this game at the moment. So I think that most of this fodder rise is pretty natural. But if you think that you're going to do this SBC straight away and you don't have the fodder to complete a, let's say, 100,000 coin SBC, because I would imagine that EA wants to start the year off well again and make a max 87 hero upgrade pretty affordable. Now, it's got to be under 100k, to be honest, because if you look at the cards that are in this, Sure, you've got some big ones. Yaga Toure, Hamshik this year, Jab Stam, Matuidi, Zeroberto. A lot of the new heroes that have been added are sub-87 rated. You've got Guti in here as well as a brand new hero. You've got Georges, um, and I think we have one more. Williams you have in there as well, and, and Scott too. This is a nice set of heroes. Sure, there's fodder inside of this. You could pack somebody like Eunberg. You could pack somebody like Rui Costa. And you could pack somebody like Williams. And of course, if we go to the second page, there's even more fodder heroes like Tim Howard. He's actually decent in game, though. You could pack Compos, Crouch, Rickon, Kenu, Cahill. Beasley's not bad. There are a lot of fodder cards in here. This SBC really shouldn't be more than like 75k. And I think it actually was 75k. The price rose because fodder rose a little bit last year on this one. But it's always an SBC that seems easy to complete. And a 75,000 coin SBC right now is 
what Taram is. Like an 84 and 85 rated squad is 66K. That could legitimately be the requirements of this SBC is it if it is dropped. So what I would tell you to do is maybe stock a couple of 86s and 7s because if the rating is a little bit higher and it's a one SBC squad, then I think those it'll be a little bit of higher rating and you'll see those prices move up more. So those are the fodder prices that I would be looking at right now if you need to invest for it. Um, and like I said as well, guys, everybody's going to want to do this if it's cheap because it gives you the chance. The pack weight, I should mention this as well. Whenever we have a cheap upgrade pack like this, we'll say this throughout the whole entire rest of the year. This is a trend that we know. Whenever an icon or a hero upgrade pack or like a player year in review type of SBC gamble pack, as we call them, is cheap on the market in terms of value in SBCs, it's going to have a really poor pack weight, right? If it's more expensive, honestly, that's usually when there's better pack pulls and it, the weight seems better out of those player picks when it is more expensive. So I'm just preparing you ahead of time for whenever this SBC does drop. The pack pulls, you'll probably see a lot of, you know, the, the players we looked at on the second page. Ole Solskjaer, uh, Dempsey, Crouch, Compost. You'll see plenty of those players. But of course, there'll be the chase. Last year, I packed Captavia from this. That was a great left back that was in my team for a while because he was so usable as an 86 rated hero card. So there's a lot of potential and there's a lot of hype. These cards are probably going to drop as well. They may not be dropping right now. A lot of them are still up with the market. But if this leak becomes more, what we say, like evident, if there's a new pack that's added to the code that proves that this is going to be coming, or if there's more people talking about this leak, one thing we saw last year was these hero cards dropped off in value from the time the leak came out to when the SBC came out. Because especially for some of these lower tier cards like a Julie, who's 116,000 coins, I would imagine that some of these are going to get packed untradeable from this hero pack and they're going to end up falling in value. This, this hero pack is untradeable, but you're going to see a lot of the fodder cards in lower tier 85s and 86s packed. So any of those that maintain a value still, I'll be very, very careful with. And that'll also present an opportunity to trade with these cards. Watch the middle to higher tier, the ones that are more rare on the market, the ones that everybody thinks they're going to pack, Robbie Keane, Cordoba, Marquisio, right? We're all hoping for one of those. But people that sell those cards thinking they're going to pack them from this SBC will have a rude awakening when most people don't pack those cards. And these are the ones that end up flying on the market after the SBC is released. We saw that last year. We saw it two years ago. It'll probably happen again. But I do believe that there could be some price drops on heroes in the next day or two as more and more people are talking about this and as the reality of this hero sbc is very likely to be in the next week or so that's just one thing that i wanted to mention about this because it's probably going to be happens happening soon now again last thing to discuss about this when what it happened well the reason that some that some people think that it could be tomorrow is because the lone hero and the lone base icon player picks that we've had so far have been on Wednesdays. Is that the new day where we will get icon or hero upgrade packs? Great question. We don't know yet. Still early in the cycle. Seems a bit weird, right? In previous years, it was Sundays. Saturdays and Sundays would be the days where they drop those SBCs. So either EA is going to start a completely new trend this upcoming weekend by dropping maybe a hero pack then on Sunday or Saturday, or they're going to stick with what we've seen so far as we get an upgrade pack on a Monday, like the 80 plus combo or the 77 double. We get an upgrade pack today on Tuesday that's like the 82 times three. Then we get another one on Wednesday that's a hero or an icon. And then that's just kind of the projection. And that's kind of the schedule as we go throughout the rest of the year. We're unsure of that. Still early doors, but that's what we're going to be watching. That's why the earliest chance of this hero SBC, you could say, which would make sense, is tomorrow. So we'll wait and see if there's more leaks on that and more information. I'm thinking it's still maybe a smidge too early, but there's a hero pack in this door. Like I mentioned, it could be soon, guys. So maybe get your fodder ready. Again, an 86 rated squad or an 85 and an 84 rated squad isn't a whole lot, but maybe prepare a little bit ahead of time and just maybe get your coins liquid too. I'm still in the moment of flipping some of these cards, but there's going to be a lot of market movements that we can trade in and around this. And if the SBC is cracked and the promo this weekend is cracked too, then we could, of course, see some spice in the market and maybe some prices dropping so this also could be an sbc that we're waiting on for a bit like i mentioned last year was dropped on october 15th 
that's still a week away. So that's something to kind of watch out for there too. This could be the next day, like I mentioned, or it could be in a week. We'll be watching it. We'll be keeping an eye on it and it's going to impact the market. So we will be there. Let's talk about Tuesday content today though. Of course, I already alluded to one part of content that I'm expecting today. The 82 times three we had two weeks ago on Tuesday. We had it last week on Tuesday. It's expired of course, but is it going to come back today? Maybe again, this is something that with EA that we try to learn. They have these cycles. They have these uh, repetitions that they kind of keep moving through when it comes to upgrade SBCs. There, there's something that they want to create some consistency with. And it seems like Mondays for the low level pack Tuesdays, the day after this year so far seems to be the 82 times three day. I don't think there's any other upgrade packs added to the code. So maybe an 82 times three comes back again today. Just a couple more times repeatable. That's nothing super crazy. I think as well, we're maybe in line for another evolution today too. Uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays or Wednesdays have been an Evo day in the past. I'm hoping for another Evo. Let's keep this content cooking in here, man. We've, we had the Canon Evo, which was just okay. EA, give us another banger Evo. We are looking forward to that. We need that, man. Bring the Evo hype back up a bit. Started great with the power shot and the club member reward. And then after that, we've had a couple decent ones, but with the glitch, which by the way, we're still waiting on EA to actually say and communicate to us how they're going to fix what happened with the power surge Evo, the club member reward and chaining some of those uh, together and the whole Evo mes mistakes that were happening. We're still waiting for some confirmation on that. So watch for an Evo today. And then of course we do have probably a player SBC coming today too. I I think we have two players that are left to be released from the original leaks. Gwyn from the Bayern women's team and Stiller center attacking mid from Stuttgart. Now the Gwyn SBC actually makes sense because we have champions league for the women starting today. I believe these are first matches um, in the group. If you look at the standings, yeah, they're still under the old um, way of doing champions league. These are the first matches for the group standings uh, play. So first chance today for any of you watching those cards they will be moving maybe a little bit on the market that's something to kind of watch out for also could mean that that Gwyn SBC could be today we'll have to see now also on Tuesdays what are we always looking for too we're looking for a team of the week leaks because on Tuesdays that's when we start to see some of this stuff going on and I haven't seen a ton of leaks around team league so far I've seen a few predictions um, one card that I was watching yesterday because I think he might get in or at least he's projected to get in is Fede Valverde he was 420,000 coins of content yesterday right now he's approaching 450 starting to rise up a little bit about 30,000 coins he's risen up there because he's starting to get in predictions. Lewandowski, of course, has gone up a lot. Saka has gone up a lot as well. Now, as we always mention with these cards, selling in the hype is usually the best time to get them out. But if you invested in any of these over the weekend, you're going to be making some coin today if they're actually getting into Team of the Week. As you'll see, their prices rise for sure. And then selling in the hype is usually the play. But usually today as well on Tuesdays is when we see some of those Team of the Week leaks finalized so be watching out for that today for sure and then also again i gotta mention these road to the knockouts because i think the, i'm leaning towards more of a sell trend on these cards to be honest a lot of them have gone up very nicely araujo is up uh vvd just had a rarity spike gusto's up like 30k barcola is up 90k from what we talked about harry kane's up from like 680 the havertz of course which right now is right around 600k still i think it's just a decent time if you have any of these Maybe think about taking the cash. I I just don't believe that they are going to continue to hold their price with Rivals Rewards upcoming and maybe a little bit of market movements downwards just because of people being uneasy and unsure about when this hero pack is going to be. So that's kind of one thing that I would mention. I still have a couple of Erling Hollands as well. And I did spend some coins yesterday getting an SBC done, which you can see in the second channel as well. So that's why we're down just a little bit on coins, but we should still be right around that 2 million coin mark after we flipped the Dybala yesterday. And uh, we have this Havertz and a couple more Hollands that would honestly put us like maybe just shy, like 1.9, just shy of 2 mil, especially with the Martinelli informs that we do have. So that's kind of the current state of the game. And of course, that big hero pack SBC that we will be looking forward to very soon. If you want to trade on the market today, I would look out of packs, heroes and icons, and maybe even some of the heroes. If there is panic selling, 
on heroes. Like let's say Cordoba is 87 and he's in demand right now because there's hype for the uh, Syria or maybe Robbie Keane. He's a pretty rare hero that I like to flip and watch his price on the on the usual. If there's panic on some of those heroes today that are below 87 rating, but you know like this Ramirez or this Alawaren, like you know this guy's not going to get packed a lot from that hero upgrade whenever it drops. Watch for the panic on those cards because there could be some quick flip potential there. So we'll wait and see. EA, give us some news. Drop us a banger. It's been a good week for SBCs. Are they going to add on top of that with a hero pack as well? We'll have to see you guys. If you, if you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Have a great Tuesday and I'll see you guys in the stream today. That link is down below in the description. Catch you guys there. Peace. Out.